when I tell people I'm from Afghanistan, they were like, Afghanistan, how is it there? Like, how did you survive? They have this like very dark image of Afghanistan that I'm like, wow. And then when I say I actually have a master in computer science and I taught in a computer science faculty in Afghanistan, they are like more double shock. They're like, how is that possible? And I'm like, well, Afghanistan is not that bad as you think. I was in Afghanistan right after the fall of Taliban and I stayed there for 10 years. I got my bachelor in computer science and I taught as a professor. So I see that how much we developed and uh, within that time, how much progress we made. And it's unfair to see people still thinking Afghanistan like the way that it was in the Taliban time. Um, for example, in the Taliban time, there were only 900,000 uh, 900, students going to school with zero female and zero female in a working place. But now we have almost 7 million students going to school with 2.4 million of them girls, which is a huge progress if you think about that timeline. And in case of technology, 85% of people in Afghanistan access phone. That's a huge number. Afghanistan population is 31 million. This whole journey that I went through that 10 years and progress, no one knows about that. And that's my mission as an Afghan girl to tell people that how that progress enabled me as an individual in Afghanistan to get that skills that through that skills I was able to come to the United States and chase my dream and made uh, the coding school in Afghanistan for the girls.